Well, welcome to lesson number one. We're gonna talk about Money Boss making smart, focused, and disciplined choices with your money. My name is Andy Strupler. People in Cambodia call me Le Gru Andy. I lived in Switzerland for 37 years. I lived three years in America and eight years I'm already living here in Cambodia. Everything with money has to do with numbers and you calculate it correctly. My age is 48 years old. So I have experience about money and I want to share what I've learned with you in this class but a little bit more about my family. My oldest daughter is 21, her name is Noah. My son is Kimo, he is 19 years old. And yes, you guessed right, my wife is Khmai. But she grew up in Switzerland and now we are living here. And I will talk more about my family in the next lesson. About this class, I will not sell you anything. Absolutely not. This class is for you to learn and improve. I will not take money from this class. It is absolutely free and I don't promote any product. So you can really relax. This is really about you understanding how money works, how you can make smart choices to manage your money well. What I need you to do is get a pen and a pencil and a paper and make notes because without notes you will forget most of what we discussed here because we will cover a lot of topics. We will talk in this course about understanding the money system. In this course we're going to set a financial goal, actually you will set a financial goal. We're going to create a budget that works and control your spending, we're going to talk about that, understanding the debt trap, the loan trap, and make smart, make a smart saving plan. And I'm going to talk, talk to you about how you can kill your money problems. This is all for you. This is what you will learn in this class. What I ask of you is that you join four times, four times one hour, completely free. And uh, this is lesson number one. On Telegram, I'm gonna post live in these four times. You can also join the Telegram group uh, to get more information. Just go in the link below and there you can join the group. Already 1,600 people signed up, so you could be also one of them. All right, here we go. Money doesn't buy happiness but it gives you the freedom to choose. This is the power of money. It gives you freedom to choose. It does not make you happy, but it gives you freedom where to work, how much to work, what kind of job, where you want to live, what moto or car you want to drive. It doesn't make you happy, but it gives you the freedom to choose where you want to eat, what you want to eat, what you want to wear. If you have money, you have the freedom to choose. It does not make you happy, but you have the freedom to choose where you want to go. In this lesson number one, we're going to focus on understand the bank system. This is very important that you understand how the bank system works. And number two, we're going to set a financial goal and understand how this works. Now, this class is for everybody. It's not about how much money you have. It's about how you manage what you have. So no matter if you have a lot, if you have a little, this class is exactly for you. Money has the power to make you a slave. You understand, right? Money has the power to make you a slave. So you work for money and you don't want that and I don't want that for you. But you can be the master and make money your slave, which means money does not control you, 
you control the money and that's why this class is called money boss let's start with the most important question that many people ask why is the bank rich why is the bank rich have you ever wondered why do they have all the money and it is a very simple thing because it has to do with people that are unhappy they are unhappy because they want a new motorbike but they don't have the money so they think oh the money is in the bank so i'm gonna go and ask the bank to give me money and the bank says absolutely you can have a loan you can have money i will give you money no problem and that makes the customer happy and he gets the bike and he drives the bike and then the bank says but now you have to pay back more than what i gave you and that's why the bank is happy at the end and the one with the moto is not so happy because he realizes he paid a lot more for the moto and the bank is rich again so the bank is rich and the people that borrow they will be sad they will be poor because they paid more for this stupid moto than what it was actually worth i did a survey and i asked how many people of you have borrowed money and this was very interesting only 100, uh, 140 people they said they have no loan no open loan or borrowed money that is very good but i ask 249 people so that means 109 people they have a problem because they borrow money or have a loan 300 500 1000 2000 5000 10000 they have a loan and 26 people check this out 26 people they have a loan for more than 1000 uh, sorry 10000 dollars so let's talk about slaves these people know what it means to pay back the bank more than they got on a monthly basis payback 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 and they worry i am very sure because me too i also borrowed money one time in my life and it is not a good feeling if you agree comment below and say yes it's true don't borrow money if you know how much pain it will cost you paying it back now keep your money in the bank not at home so keep your money in the bank not at home if you keep one thousand dollars at home it will remain one thousand dollars if you put it in the bank what will happen is the bank will give you interest if you keep it there it will give more interest and the interest on the interest will grow and grow so the money that you have in the bank will continue to grow even if you don't add anything keep the one thousand dollars in the bank it will go up the money in the bank will grow and that's what i want to teach you keep your men money in the bank because in the bank your money will grow in your pocket your money will not grow so don't keep it at home if you have a saving plan it is very good that you keep it in the bank because there is the power of interest you have one thousand dollars and you keep it at home you add 100 more you keep it at home nothing changes if you put the one thousand dollars in the bank and you add one thousand dollars you will have more but see this this is the interest the bank will give you interest and again you put more money the bank gives you interest you save more money the bank will give you interest and the interest will grow so what you will see is actually a curve that goes up like that it's because the bank will give you interest on the interest if you leave the money in the bank so don't keep it at home i'm going to uh, teach you how this works on a very simple um, explanation here so check this out i'm going to open this website 
and uh, I make this a little bit bigger. Don't worry about the calculation numbers. So let's say uh, this is just a fixed deposit calculator, FD deposit. So let's say you have one uh, $1,000 in the bank. So total investment is the blue. This is 1000 that you put in the bank. So your total investment is 1000 Let's say this is dollar. It doesn't matter. If the bank gives you 1%, you will get after one year, here we have the year, you will get $10. So the bank gives you $10 if you keep it on the bank. But let's say many of the banks here in Cambodia, they offer um, like six or seven percent. Let's go, let's go, let's go high. Let's go Prasak style. And let's say you find a bank that gives you seven percent for keeping the money on the bank. Now, the bank you see here will give you seventy two dollars. So you see, this is what the bank gives you for keeping it for one year in the bank. But what happens if you keep it in here for 10 years? And let's say 10. Look at that. You put in 1000, you did not touch it. And now you earn from the bank 1000. So your bank account is now $2,002. And you only put in half. The bank gave you have the money. Now, think about that. You get 1000 for free. Only thing you have to do is put it on the bank and wait. Do not take it out, wait. So this is your investment, 1000 and 1000 is from the bank for you just for keeping it, parking it in the bank. That is truly amazing. Let's go back to the slide here. All right, so keep it in the bank. Now, my next question is, why are smart people rich? Now, I'm not talk talking rich people are necessarily smart, but smart people, they know how to make money because they become rich. So why are smart people rich? Here, we have little money boss and he has money and he has money in his pocket and he is dreaming of buying a house some land and a house and a moto whatever but he looks at his money and it is not enough so he says wait i am not gonna buy the house now even if all my friends have the new house the new moto whatever i will not buy it now i'm gonna put my money in the bank so every month he waits, puts more money in the bank, he works and works year after year after year after year, and the money in the bank multiplies. Just like I explained to you, the longer you keep it, 20, 30 years in the bank, it will grow, it will grow, 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 and faster and faster. So the money boss, he lets the money grow in the bank. And when the time is right, he's going to say, OK, now I have enough money on the bank and all the money comes back to him and then he can build a house. This is why smart people are rich. This is why they are rich, because they wait and work and the bank gives them more money. And that's why they have later on a house and whatever they want because they ha have patience and they are smart and disciplined because they know what they want. So here is really the important lesson. Make the bank work for you. Make it work for you. This is so important. You don't work for the bank. Let the bank work for you. Many people walk around and they bring money to the bank and make the bank richer. But you 
have the power to change it and make the bank work for you. This is exactly how you must think. And if you do that, your money will grow. All right, this is really, really important lesson. I hope you write this down. Make the money work for you. Make the bank work for you with the money that you save in the bank. I'm gonna talk about setting goals. Uh, how much do you how much do you want to have in your bank account? This is a question that you need to ask yourself. This is a goal. It's, it's let's say, yes, it, you are right now here and your goal is up here and you want to go and reach that goal. How much money do you want to have up there? That's the question. So. The target could be, I want 5,000 in my bank account or 10,000, or you say, no, I'm gonna go for 20,000. Some people say 30,000 because that's exactly what they want, a small piece of land and a house, 30,000, perfect. Or you say, no, 50,000. Or you say, no way, I'm gonna go for 100,000. This is how much I want in my bank account. Again, it will not make you happy it will only give you choices. So, if it's hard in the beginning, it will be easy in the end. Easy, it will be easy in the end, but it is hard in the beginning. Let me explain this to you like this. This is me, no, this is my friend, but this is me, um, in 1990 and I started saving money. I started saving money just $3.50 every month because I was 16 years old and I had my small salary working. So I had small salary and I just saved a little. Every month I saved a few dollars. At the time it was very hard because I needed every dollar to, to spend on whatever I wanted. But I learned this lesson from my mom, which I talk about in the next lesson, that saving money is important and a part of budgeting is, is saving money. But then I started to get a better paying job and I started to save more money each month. And as you can see, this is since a long, long time. It's like 30 years I saved money. And after 30 years of saving, I had so much money saved that I could buy land and buy a house. Now, it was hard in the beginning, but to have a house now, it is like easy in the end because the money keeps growing. All right. If it's hard in the beginning, it will be easy in the end. This is a sentence that you will learn. You will say to yourself, you will say to your partner, you will say to your family, if it's hard in the beginning, it will be easy in the end. How to save 15,000 in less than, than 12 and a half years? How do you do that? Now, yes, you can calculate very easy and say, I save $100 per month. This may be a lot, but if you have a goal to say, I want to save 15,000 because I want a house, you are disciplined and you save $100 per month. And you know, one year has 12 months 12 month times 12.5 years is 150 month. So it will take you 150 month to save a total of $15,000. This is what you do when you save at home. But let me tell you, there is a better way. And I asked you about who of you does not have a bank account and look at that. 31% don't have a bank account and 
4% only have a salary, only a few people here actually have a savings account. And I'm going to talk about this savings account because this is how you can see your money grow. So only 35% have a savings account and all others, they need to start one. I will explain why. How you can save 15,000 in less than 12 and a half years. You take your $100 every month and you put it in the bank. The bank gives you interest and I'm gonna uh, show you an example what this looks like when we calculate this for a long time. Here, this is all for free on, on, uh, on the internet. You can open this. I'm gonna share these links with you. So here we go. Let's say, let's put this all on zero and you will see what this, what this does. So let's close all of this stuff. And let's say you put regular monthly deposit, you put in 100, $100. And uh, the interest, let's, let's put the interest also to let's let's put it to five let's put it to five percent because this is what you can get for an account in cambodia that you can um deposit regularly with 100 dollars. so every month you put 100 dollars, and what happens after 10 years which is only 120 months not 150 let me calculate you have Fifteen thousand five hundred in your bank account. Now the bank gave you three thousand five hundred ninety-three dollars. Now that is really, really amazing. So if you go back, you can actually say, "Okay, look at that." In seventeen months, I actually already reached my goal. Actually. If you go down to 16, you see you will be slightly below the 15 because the interest every month will actually give you more than 100. So go back to 17 months, calculated, we are at 15,000 and the bank donated to you $3,401 just for keeping it in the bank. This is what the bank gives you for keeping your money there and saving your money in the bank. All right, so closed, earn it, put it in the bank. Saving at home, yes, you can do it. It takes 115 months, that's 12 and a half years, and you will have your 15,000. But if you put it in saving in a bank and the bank gives you 5% interest, it only takes you 17 months and you will have more than 15,000. That is less than 10 years. That's only, look at that. That's not even 10 years and you already have it. We're just saving $100 a month. Put it in the bank, make the bank work for you. So your money is 11,700. That's what you put in, 11,500. And this is free money right here. The bank gives you 3,400, free money. Actually, it's not so free. If you think about it, it's discipline money. It's the discipline that you need the discipline to keep saving, putting it in the bank, not spending it on the phone, on the motorbike, nothing. Keep in the bank and you will grow your money. So let's think about an exercise and this is where I need you to take a moment to think about what is your money saving goal? 
how much do you want to save? If you have a number, let's say 15,000, uh, you have 50, you save 15,000, you want you save, then you can calculate how much money and how much, how much you can save. Maybe it's not a hundred, maybe it's $50. It doesn't matter um, because it's about how much you can save. And then you can calculate how much, how long, sorry, how long it will take you to get there. So I'm going to share this link with you as well, because here you can actually calculate your money saving plan. Let me open this link and show you how you can use this to do this by yourself. You can, I will share this link in the Telegram group. So this is a simple saving savings calculator. <laughs> I love it. This is all for free, made by the banks, even if they don't have. So initially, let's say, initially, you have $1,000 in the bank. So you start with 1000 that you have, and every month you add 100. Let's, 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 let's just say 50. Let's say 50. You only add 50. And for how long? But let's say you're going to do it just like me. You're going to do it for 30 years. 30 years this is how long and the bank gives you let's say five percent interest now if you if you check this out right here now this will blow your mind so here at the end at the end you will have forty five thousand dollars in your bank account forty five thousand just starting with 1000 and putting in 50 and you can see here this one interest earned look at that that's mind-blowing 26,000 is interest earned and 18,000 is what you put in plus the 1000 in the beginning so you only have 18 plus 1,000, 19,000 in here, as you can see here, 19,000 is the, the, this color here, the blue one, and all this light green one is all what the bank gives you. Check this out. Let's say you put nothing in here. It doesn't really matter, uh, zero, look at that. So. You, you, uh, sorry, you need to put in, uh, let's say 100. I'm recording. What do you need, Topal? All right. So you just put in 100 and you save $50 every month for 30 years with 5%. The bank gives you a lot of money. You have 40,000. Whenever you sell something or have time to to uh, make more money or save more or you save look at that if you save then later you save 100 look what happens crazy the bank gives you 45,800 you only put in 36 plus the 100 in the beginning and you have 82,000 almost that is really crazy just think about that for a moment and that's why you can easily calculate what your plan is in the future with your money saving here we go let's go and let's continue here what will destroy your goal very simple not setting a goal too many people are afraid to set a money saving goal if they set a money saving goal they will have a target that they can reach so set a goal if you don't set one, you will not reach anything. Stop saving for any reason. Never stop saving. Don't give up. Don't make excuses. Oh, this month I cannot. No, it's too expensive. Save first and then buy food and all of the other things. You, if you make debt, it will destroy your goal. 
Don't borrow money, not from a friend, not from a cousin, not from a mother, and from nobody. If you borrow money, you will destroy your goal. Spending more than you have. If you spend more than you have, you will destroy your saving goal because you cannot save what you don't have. Now, this is important. The Bible teaches us so many important lessons on life and especially about money. And this is 100% true right here. Check this out. Money that comes easily. Now, I want to talk about this. There is some money that seems to come easily. Somebody may tell you, if you invest in this product, if you buy this or that, then you will make a lot of money very quickly. If somebody tells you this, remember, it disappears quickly again. It disappears quickly because there's so many people that scam you. They want money from you. They tell you you will get rich, but you don't. The only way you will see your money grow is little by little. But money gathered little by little will grow. It will grow if you gather it little by little. So never fall for anybody that tells you how to make money quickly. It does not happen. It does not work. Little by little. This is what you need to believe in and what you need to do step by step, week by week, month by month. So if you have questions, write them in the comments. I will take time to read them and um, I will try to answer them as good as I can. Now, I'm gonna make here another exercise with you. Let's see what this tool does that I also will share with you. And this may help you make your goal. So this is just another website I found that actually has a savings goal calculator. This is just the same thing, but a different approach, which means it actually says, okay, I would love to save, let's say $50,000. So I put it in here, saving goal is 50,000. Desired final saving. Yes, 50,000 is good, I can buy a house. And then my initial investment, the amount of money you have ready right now, let's say I have, um, yeah, I have 100 where I say, yes, I'm going to start with the 100. I put a 100 in. And then um, the length of time in years that you plan to save, let's say, yes, I'm going to save for 30 years. So it's going to grow the money, years to grow. I love how this is growing because it is growing and growing takes time, little by little. So, and then you say, okay, what does the bank give me for a rate? So I say, yeah, 5%. And now I can hit, I can hit calculate here and it will calculate. Check this out, it's calculating. And look at this. This is the chart I want to show you because the result is uh, you need to contribute 62 point one seven dollars to reach fifty thousand this is really cool so it you say okay if i want fifty thousand and i have 30 years i need to save 62 dollars every month and here in this graphic this is crazy so the blue line don't worry about that that's your 100 dollars in 30 years your 100 dollars have has grown to 432 just because the bank gives you interest on that the red line is your monthly contribution as you can see the red line it just goes straight it goes straight to here but this one it goes up because the bank gives you interest on the interest on the interest it gave you last year and last year and again and again that's why this line goes up like crazy. This is what I really want you to understand that if you keep it in the bank and don't touch it, but put in just a little bit the same, maybe you can add this more, but 
you will reach your goal. So if you say, no, I'm actually going to um, put in or I'm going to say, OK, I don't want to wait 30 years. I want to wait 25 years. Calculate. And then here, boom. So you know you need to save 86.71 in 25 years to get to 50,000. Or you can say, no, my goal right is 100,000. 100,000, I'm going to go for 100,000. And uh, yes, let's, let's say 30 years because nothing happens quickly. If you want, you need patience. So let's calculate this. So if you want 100,000, look at that. $125 for 30 years will give you these savings, 100,000. So this is a, a little tool that I put in the link that you can um, use to calculate your savings. And I want you to play around with this a little bit because you need to make a money saving plan. You need to make your own. What do you want? This is your exercise. So I'm going to take a little time before I stop this video to give you a review on what we learned. So again, this is an important lesson. Why are smart people rich? Because they have some money. They want to buy a house and land now, but they say, whoa, not yet, not yet. Wait, wait. First, I'm going to put the money on the bank and I'm going to wait. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep putting money in the bank, in the bank, and the money in the bank will grow and grow and grow. And I'm going to wait for 30 years. And when I am old, I will need to take it easy. If it's hard in the beginning, it will be easy in the end. Remember that sentence. And then I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to have a really nice place to live where I can get old, where I don't need to borrow from my children, where I don't need to take a loan. I have my own place because I waited and I worked and I let the, the bank work for me. All right. So I also did this question. Do you have a money saving plan? And here again, we have 35 people that said, no, I don't have. You need to make a money saving plan. Very important. Here are two apps in Cambodia that you can use. Uh, two banks where you can online make a money saving plan. You can open an account. You don't even need to go into the bank. So I'm going to give you homework until the next lesson. I want you to set your target. Set your target. How do you want, how much do you want to save? Calculate the month and calculate the monthly payments. And I want you to open a bank account and start. You can do this this week. This week. Don't wake no excuses. Do it this week. Don't watch the next video if you don't do this. It will not help you. If you don't go and do it, don't continue with this class. Please drop out, delete my video, whatever. If you don't listen and don't believe what I'm telling you, do not continue to watch. I'm going to give you another free tip here. Check with a few banks, not just the ones I gave you. You can go to several banks. There is a lot. Walk into the bank and ask for their interest. What are their interest rates? What are their what are they willing to pay you to keep the money in the bank? Remember, you already choose. You already have the power to choose. So choose the one that is the best for you. It's all about you controlling your money. You are the money boss. So check with a few banks what their interest rates are, what their conditions are, and then you choose what is the best bank for you. Now, walk into the bank confidently because you walk in like a boss. You walk in like a boss because 
you are the boss of your money and you let the bank work for you so you walk in like a boss because the bank works for you now it is your money you want to put there and you are the boss of your money the bank works for you yes come on the bank works for you you are the money boss and the bank works for you what's still to come in this course we're going to talk about creating a budget that works in the next course controlling your spending understand the debt trap smart saving plan we're going to talk about this again and then how you can kill all your money problems join the telegram group link is also below here on youtube so you can join for free what i ask of you if you listen to this join the next three times it's only one hour join it it's free be a part of it uh, it's Wednesday night on Telegram. We already did the first class on the 11th and on the 18th, the 25th and the 1st of September on Wednesday, 7 p.m. We have this class and I ask you to come and join. This is good for you to learn how to manage your money. So see you next Wednesday.